Welcome. I don't usually do evening videos, but because this is a special video, I thought we would start off with an evening glass of wine. Tonight, we are having Pacific Redwood Organic Pinot. Cheers. Hmm, so the characteristics I'm picking up are medium red. I would say more on the smooth side, definitely drier and a little bit more acidic. Let's take another sip so we can really get the flavors. I'm picking up some strawberry and cherry, a little bit of earth and smoke, and finishing off with a cedar oak. What would this wine pair nicely with for dinner? Let's go find out. So what we're having for dinner is pan seared Cajun salmon that was done in the cast iron pan. So it keeps it nice and moist on the inside with a crispy outer edge. So good. Accompanied by some roasted asparagus with some feta crumbles on top. So good, you guys. So, but when you have the two together, it's a nice little treat. So let's now get into a video that's not about Christmas. Everyone's doing Christmas. It's Christmas overload and it's beautiful. It's wonderful. But I just thought I would do something a little different tonight. And that is talking about the process of designing your own decor in your own home, which is what I will be doing in 2023. I thought tonight I would share some examples and some mock-ups of some things that are in the works for next year. So in 2023, what will be changing is I will be adding more customization, more DIYs, and showing you how to take a store-bought item, something you would buy at Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, those sort of stores, and customize it to make it spectacular and a one-of-a-kind piece. So when I shared my video where I decorated my hutch for Christmas and I shared my plate toppers, there was an overwhelming response and people seemed to really, really like them. And I will tell you this Christmas, I was in search of beautiful Christmas plates, especially on Amazon. And I wasn't having a lot of luck finding exactly what I was looking for. So these X tool machines allow me to kind of design my own items, make it my own to where I can use it in my decor. So I wanna show you something. So how many of us love using decorative plates in our decor, whether it's on a hutch, um, um, a side table, a cabinet, where you have a plate holder and some beautiful plate, but you need a smaller plate in front of it that's gonna give it the wow factor. Let me tell you, I was not finding those plates that had the wow factor this year. So this plate topper idea is just amazing. I feel is a game changer in my home decor. Number one, I don't have to store and buy a whole bunch of different plates. What I could do is buy decorative plates whether it be a plain plate or a pattern plate, and then, and then put my plate topper in front of it. I'm just gonna use a black plate with this because it'll pop. But imagine having plate toppers for Easter, for St. Patrick's Day, for all the holidays, and all you have to do is get a plate topper these are easy to store, they're lightweight. You don't have to go buy a gazillion plates. It's a win-win, you guys. These are gonna be so versatile. Now, this is a mock-up. This isn't the real deal. What we would do these in is wood. And then what we would do is use non-toxic paint so that you can place them on top of your plates and you don't have to worry about anything. Game changer, absolute game changer in decor. You can do plate toppers in all different shapes and sizes to give your plates a unique, one-of-a-kind look. Anyway, all I have to do is download this and put it into the system. The laser cuts it out for me. And again, I'm going to be doing these on wood. So I think this is something that I could do next year 
at a relatively very low cost and be able to ship these to some of you for next to nothing. And let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Remember, these are the mock-ups. These aren't the real deal. Imagine when this is like a nicer, thicker piece of wood that you can put on any plate, you know, and it can be designs through the seasons. And we might be able to do custom orders. You wanted to do plate toppers. Um, you wanted to monogram them, you know, with your last name or your family name. Say J for Johnson and then in beautiful text below Johnson or some beautiful design um, interlaced. We could do that too. We're only limited by our creativity. I mean, we can also do things for special occasions. You know, Christmas, birthdays, graduations, anniversaries. I mean, you guys, sky's the limit. So I've already shared this, but I thought I would do it again in case anyone missed it. This is a decorative wall piece from Hobby Lobby. We wanted to see if we could replicate it at a fraction of the cost, which we did. We literally took our Amazon leftover boxes and we cut them and we did a mock-up and this is the result of that. I mean, is this not crazy? This is completely made of cardboard. You would never know it. This one is also made of cardboard and again, you would not know it. It looks distressed. It looks very similar to the real thing, again, at a fraction of the cost. Now we can also do these in wood, but we did this in cardboard, but I was telling my husband, I don't know that I would do it in wood. If it feels solid, you would never know. And it's so lightweight. I mean, you could literally put some sticky adhesive to the back, you know, that wall stuff that you can stick, you can stick it on the wall and you wouldn't even have to put a nail in the wall. I have one in my master bedroom and we used museum putty and put some on the back, like boom, boom, boom. Stuck it on the wall, it's been up there for weeks and it's wonderful. No nails, no nails needed. Lightweight, sticks right on the wall. Wouldn't be unheard of to see these at a store for I would say $30 or more a piece. And again, these were free. Free, because we used our cardboard boxes. Cut them out on the laser and boom, done. Cutting boards are the latest, greatest rage. I mean, everybody's got them in their kitchens. On YouTube, I mean, you can go to almost anyone's channel and you see in a little cozy corner of the kitchen, a really pretty display done with cutting boards and other items. But can everybody customize a cutting board? Well, I was able to customize this beautiful cutting board that's got the beaded detail and we lasered home for the holidays on it. So this is truly a game changer in home decor because I can flip it. I can do two different sides with two different sayings and use it year round. We were looking for a cutting board in my house, which I have a plethora of them. And I said, oh, 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 let's do this one. And we did this coffee station. And so inside, we did this one. It says the coffee station, heat it up. Speaking of taking store-bought items and making them your own, I picked up these beautiful posters and I have Home for the Holidays. I have The Magic of Christmas. I have Let It Snow. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And it's just a really fun way to jazz up your decor and personalize it. Another big decor item that is super popular are wood risers. Wood risers, marble risers, little tiny decorative stools to elevate your decor to the next level, to add varying heights. So it gives your displays visual interest. Now, when I was going to do my kitchen video, I was short three little risers. I just needed a little riser. And I told my husband, I said, I've got to run to Hobby Lobby because I need three risers. 
And he said, we could go do that out on the X tool. So we both went out there and he showed me how to whip one up and I did and got them painted and was able to do my video using my own risers I did myself. And I guarantee I saved at least 20, 30 bucks doing it myself. And I wanted um, three black risers. So I did, I did two this size and I wanted them to elevate my little sugar bowl, my little um, cardinal sugar bowl. And it's so cute. And it was, it was free. Laser cut it out. We're getting ready to build a big substantial shelf that will go in the master bedroom over the bed. And I knew I was gonna need a little bit of expertise because I'm not so great at math. My husband is. And so anyway, I have this. We were doing a mock-up. This is coming, guys. But it this just goes to show that you can do, this is on wood. And we're going to be doing a big kind of a lattice, a long one with a beautiful decorative mantle above. But construction of it is going to be easy peasy because really the tool does all the work and then we just have to piece it together and paint it and that's it. But this is coming. So this next item again was a mock-up done on cardboard. We will be doing it on wood and then you can paint it, customize it to your liking. And I'm hoping you guys can see this, but it's Santa and his reindeer. There's trees, stars, and then look at the beautiful intricate design down below. And it's definitely a 3D effect. Now, I want you to imagine this being done on wood, custom painted, and then placed in a beautiful frame with matting around the edge. This could be a beautiful wall, you know, decor insert that you can use every Christmas, but the best part, you can take the inserts out for the season. So this could be a Christmas design. And then when, you know, Easter rolls around, we do something similar in size that has to do with Easter, bunnies, tulips, uh, flowers, a cross, um, things like that, you know, things that people think of, springtime stuff, and you just take the insert out, put it back in your frame with the matting, it, it's all beautiful, and oh my gosh, you save money and space in your home because you're just switching these little things out. Then when your friends and family come over and they see this beautiful, one-of-a-kind artwork, they're gonna say, where did you get that? Again, you have to imagine this painted. Use your imagination. You could say it's a one-of-a-kind piece. You may remember me mentioning that my husband was gonna make a, a nativity ornament for Christmas and he was playing with it forever. But you can see just how many pieces of wood it took to make this. And he's still working on baby Jesus. He's trying to make him look three-dimensional to where he really stands out. But you can see there's lots of intricate layers on the inside. And then look at the back side. And the goal was to do a mock-up and then obviously paint it. And with the back, we would be able to get some light behind it so that when you place it on a tree, the back is lit, lit up just beautiful. So, I mean, sky's the limit, guys, with this, this tool. Okay, I'm gonna be splashing on the screen here in a second. A lantern I found on Amazon. I really wanted it, but it was $49. And I showed my husband and he said, you know what, we can make that on the X tool. I said, get out of town. So guess what he did? He made me one. So here is the black lantern, okay? We even customized it with this piece right here because this is how it looks with just a black base. But if you wanted to have the ring 
as an accent color, white or, you know, a different color, you could. And so this fits right on top. How cool is that? Just add an LED flameless flickering candle and done. So after we made this one, we were sitting around talking and we said, let's take it up a notch. Let's take it up a notch. So we did another mock-up using our Amazon cardboard. It's just like this one, but more decorative. And I guarantee there is nothing out there like this because we made it from scratch. Now see this one? You're gonna laugh. This was actually from a scrap of shiplap. See this wall here? We decided to try it on some shiplap wood and check it out. Now we haven't painted it, we haven't added this little circle yet, but you can just, you can see where we're going with this. Again, use your imagination. This is with a long LED flameless flickering candle. But again, um, we're not finished with this, but it's in the direction we're going. And we are working on how to add an adorable finial, a custom one of a kind finial. I'm just using this as an example. We cut these out, but if you wanted to add these to the front of a wreath, um, on some wall decor, hang them in the window, you can do that. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things we've done so far and where we're going with it in 2023, which I'm super excited about. And now, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to be sharing a comparison video between the M1 and the D1 Pro and I'm gonna share the differences and what their capabilities are. So our setup is out in the garage. So let me introduce you to the big daddy, the D1 Pro. So the main differences between the D1 Pro and the M1 is that this can cut three and a half feet long, whereas with the M1, you're limited on the size and cuts. The D1 machine behind me also allows you to cut thicker material with a 20 watt laser. The M1 has a 10 watt laser. Now I will say the D1 is a little more complicated to use, but it's because it's more of a semi-professional laser. It gives you a lot more options in your laser cutting and engraving. For example, you can use a program called Light Burn, which is really popular in the laser industry. So because I have a decor channel and I'm most focused on decor objects. This is the machine that's going to be able to do my signs, larger engraving, larger laser cutting. So like sky's the limit with this one. Now let's shift over to the M1. This is the M1. This is the one that we typically do a lot of our prototyping on, which is very, very helpful. And then we move over to the D1 Pro and implement it. But let me be clear, you do not need both. One or the other is fine. I'm just using this opportunity to contrast the two machines. Now, another thing with this tool is that it has the blade cutter and the laser. The D1 does not have a blade cutter. So the blade cutter is essentially like another Cricut, if you're familiar with that, that tool. This is great for cutting your materials like vinyl, paper, stickers. You can do your heat transfers and press-ons. The M1 machine is literally, you unbox it and it's plug and play. It's ready to go. You ultimately unbox it, plug it in, download the software, and you're ready to go. This one has more automation in it. It's got a camera, auto sensing, auto height adjustment. The Xtool software, although new, is extremely user-friendly, so that's a plus. They also offer free downloaded projects just to get you started. You add a piece of wood in here, you select your project, and then you hit create. It's that simple. Now the D1 Pro is, is more advanced and it does require more setup. It's not as plug and play. So if you're new to lasers, the M1 is a great place to start. If you wanna get into crafting, DIY, perhaps starting your own business, this is literally a business in a box. You're off and running. So if you're somebody who's been considering a Cricut, 
I would definitely go with the M1 because it's truly the best of both worlds. So we were experimenting with the different woods and this, you can see it cut through this and this is six millimeters. So you can still cut a decent piece of wood with the smaller unit. So if any of you are interested in getting into the X-Tool M1, this is a great starting point, plug and play. Uh, very simple to use, and if you want to get into the more advanced stuff, bigger in scale, then the D1 Pro might be for you. But I think this is a great starting point. You can do so much with this. I haven't even shown. Um, we did uh, some shirts for our daughters with the vinyl, and they looked amazing. I mean, there's, oh, we've done engraving on tumblers. And check this out. My daughter came over this morning and dropped this off and she gave us a to-do list and said, mom and dad, can you make some gifts for my friends at work? So we've got a tumbler to engrave, um, some sweatshirts, and then she wants a special one um, in this wooden frame uh, that we'll be engraving. So sky's the limit. Safety tip, don't forget to wear your laser glasses. All right guys, well, I'm about ready to go have some fun and play. And I wanna let you guys know, if, if any of you are interested in the, the M1 or the D1 Pro, X-Tool is running their Christmas specials from now until the end of the year. So I will link all the information you need to know below. You know, if you just have a little interest and you wanna check into it, see what it's all about, um, I'll have all the links below. This is a little bit of an investment, but I truly believe, like I said, it's a business in a box. You may not start out thinking that it could turn into a business, but before you know it, as you start making things and your friends and family come over and they see these new items and they ask, where did you get those? And you're like, come out to the garage, let me show you. And before you know it, you're taking orders. Our kids are piling it on us with putting all kinds of requests in. Can you do this for my friend? Can you make sorority ornaments? All right, guys, I gotta run. I got things to do and I've got all this cardboard and things to make. I got a lot of designing to do. So thank you X-Tool for my big, beautiful machines. I love them and I never would have imagined these two machines to open so many different doors. So, ha, huh, exciting times. Buckle up, we're gonna have some fun next year. Before we go, I wanna to introduce to you the new tool that's coming out next year, the X-Tool F1. And there will be links below for the pre-sale promotion. This is X-Tool F1, an ultra-fast IR and diode laser engraver at hand. With a maximum working speed of 3,000 millimeters per second, F1 finished project super fast. Turn your imagination into creation in a blink of an eye. F1 has a 0.003 millimeter engraving accuracy, bringing out every detail flawlessly. To make it an indoor engraving machine, F1 features an enclosed design and is accompanied by a purifier, keeping you away from the smoke and smell issue out of engraving. With an F1 in hand, you can create whatever you want, Make a unique mug and tumbler. You can prepare for your custom orders as fast as you can. Or you can even make engraving on demand as a custom service of your gift shop. X-Tool F1, ultra fast IR and diode laser engraver. All right friends, that will wrap up my video. Thanks for joining me for a different kind of a video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.